we're going to talk about division. On the GED, you don't actually need long division. If they ever did ask you to do something that was long division, you could always work backwards. I could just do 312 divided by four by hand with long division if they asked me to, or I could just take all of the answers at whatever they are, take them, multiply by four, and see if I got to 312. I could do it backwards time after time, and one of these would have to work. So we don't care about long division for the sake of long division. In real life, you have calculators, and on the GED, it might save you a few minutes, but it's avoidable. But we want to think about how division works. So first, we're going to compare the traditional method, long division, with another method. The other method is normally called the line method, but maybe we should call it the I like one ten hundred method. One of these will be nicer for you, just like when we did the multiplication, the traditional way and the box way, most people like one way better than the other. I could, this playing card is here to remind me, make a explanation now on how long division works. But I think it's okay just to practice it, even if we don't know why it works. And we'll talk about why it works later. Sometimes it's nice to just be a little more comfortable with something before we analyze it. So if I want to do by hand 972, let me space it out a little. Divided by four, how many fours go into 972? Then long division is this bizarre thing where we multiply and subtract, and we multiply and subtract, and we multiply and subtract. And why does multiplying and subtracting make division happen? We will get to that eventually, maybe even tonight. But for now, let's just see what happens. So I start close to the four with this nine. How many fours go into nine? Well, one four is four, two fours is eight. That's as much as I'm going to get. Whoops, instead of the eight, I put the two there. Two times four is eight. Nine minus eight is one. And then I bring down the seven to get 17. Is this looking familiar? Have you seen this sometime? It often is years if you've been working and raising kids and things. Who does this anymore? Okay, now I repeat. How many times does four instead of nine? Now we're trying to get to 17. Uh, counting by fours, four, eight, 12, 16. That's as much as I'm going to get. So four times four is 16. And then when I subtract, I get a one, bring down the next number. Now I'm wondering how many times does four go into 12? So four, eight, 12, three times. And I'm done. And my answer is 243. So that was one method. What happens if I don't know my multiplication tables very well? To do long division, I need to have them all memorized. In this case, I needed to know four times four is 16. What happens if I was someone that only knew four times one, four times two, four times three, and that's all I knew of my four multiplications table? Then we could use this other method. So we're going to start by writing the same thing. We're having four go into 972. And I draw a line. I'm sort of making a margin over here. And now I think 
I can play with a hundreds at a time. How many one hundreds can I fit four at a time into 972? I could fit 100 fours, that would be 400. I could even fit 200 fours, that would be 800. So let's go with the second one. Let's say, let's fit 200s. Four times 200 is 800. With me so far? So that's playing with hundreds. So then I'm going to subtract two, seven, one. Now I can't fit a hundred more fours in. That would be 400, which is bigger. So instead of hundreds, I'm gonna go back down to tens. So how many tens can I fit? I could fit 10, 10 times four is 40. I could fit 20, that would be 80. I could fit 30, that would be 120. Let's pretend that's all I know. I don't know my four times four. So I'm going to say I can fit 30, three times four is 120. And I still have some room. I can fit another 10 fours. If I knew my four times tables great, I could just write 40 to start with. And then I would have a 40 and a 160 and I would subtract and get 12. But the nice thing about the second method is you don't have to have all your multiplication tables memorized. You could whittle things down step by step. This will take more than one example. And then now I'm down to ones because I can't fit 10 fours and 12 but I could fit three fours in 12. Three fours is 12. At the end, I add all of these up and they get 200, 230, 240, 243, and that's my answer. Similar to what we did a moment ago, the traditional way is traditional because if you are good at your multiplications tables, it's fastest and takes up the least amount of paper. But this other way might be nice because it's more flexible. I don't have to know my multiplication tables as accurate. Now, the third method for multiplying was really bizarre. You needed a different scrap of paper to slide on top. No one will ever actually do that. But the third method for long division looks a lot like these, and some people really like it. So I'm going to show it to you also. We are still writing how many times does 4 go into 972? Make that look a little curved. Okay. I'm going to take my box and I'm going to make it have as many digits as the big number. So it's like there's a nine, a seven, and a two. But now I'm going to do something that's like the colors on my line method. So I'm going to start with how many times four goes into 972 with a hundred at a time. That's my hundreds box. So I could say 200, 200s. Then my four times my 200 is 800. And when I subtract, I get 172. Let me make that look a little better. Now 
Then I take the 172 and I move it up over here. Now I'm at my tens. How many tens can I put there? I'm gonna move this farther. Well, maybe I put 20. 20 times four is 80. When I subtract that, I'm not done yet. I can fit another 80 in there. So I'll take another 20. And that's all the tens I can do. So I'll shift to the next box and have a 12. I'm still wanting to say four times what is 12? Well, that would be three. And I subtract and I'm done. Then I take all these numbers and add them up. And I get the same answer as before, of course. So this is almost the same as the line method. It's just organized differently. Instead of going down one line and kind of dripping things away, then we're saying I'm taking away 100 at a time, 10 at a time, and ones. OK, ready for more examples? So big problem, but that's OK. We can handle it. Should I ask someone to do this and I'm their scribe, or should I keep talking? Anyone want to show off and be the divide, division person? No, okay, I will keep talking. So I start with my biggest digit, the one closest to the 12. Does 12 go into four? No, it doesn't. So eh, it doesn't go there. I'm just gonna put a little X to say it doesn't go there, right? but I'm not really pretty. Then I look at the whole thing, keeping going. So now I'm not at four, but I'm at 49. Does 12 go into 49? Sure, it has to go in at least once. 49 is bigger. If you are doing long division and not great at it, something that often works, if you're not taking a test and in a rush, is on the side to say, let's make our 12 times tables. So it 12 times, times four times. Is, what? Four times. Four times, yes, it will be four times. Good So 36, 48, 36 times one, two, three, four, 12 times five is 60, 12 times seven, 72, 12 times eight, will be 84, 12 times 9, 96, no, I missed one somewhere, maybe, I missed six. I'm thinking about lecturing and not math. Six, 12 times seven, 84, 12 times eight, 86. 12 times 9, 108, 12 times 10, 120, and that's all I'll need. So you can kind of put that in a cloud off to the side if it helps you do these. But yes, 4 times 12 is 48. That's the one I need this time. Bring down the eight. 12 goes into 18. How many times? Once. Just once. And twice would be 24. That's too big. And 
And then for 60. Five. Five. 12 times five is 60. So I'm done. I got to zero. 415 is my answer. Anyone who likes this method best have questions about it? So I will do 4980 divided by 12 the other ways. So I will make my line. I'm going to start with thousands. Oops, make a nice one. Okay. Because this number has thousands. If I do 12 times a thousand, is that going to help me? No. No, that's going to be 12,000, which is too big for this. So just like there was nothing here, 12 times 1,000 is too big. So cross that out, bad idea. Now we'll go down to 100. How many hundreds can I fit over here? Four. Four, okay, so let's do 400. 400 times 12 would be 48 with two zeros. Everyone okay with that? Four times 12 is 48, and there's two zeros hanging out. So subtract, and we get 180. Can I take away 112s anymore? No. So we're done with the hundreds. Now I'm to tens. How many tens of 12s can I take away? One. Just one. 12 times 10 is, well, 12 times one is 12 with one zero. And how many ones of 12s can I take away? Ones of 12s? Yeah. How many single copies of 12s? Not 10 anymore, just one at a time. I'm multiplying by 12 without any zeros on the end. Three, four, I don't remember. So we could see the answer here, but let's pretend that you said three and that's great. Three, three times 12 is 36. Yep. So we're gonna borrow, make that a five and a 10. 10 minus six is four, five minus three is two. We still have some to go. Two. Er, um, two times four, two times 12 yeah. is 24. And now we're done. So then I add up all of these things. And you can see what we got the same answer as before, 415, but it was more flexible. Did I have to get the five correct right away? Long division doesn't really work unless you know that's a five. But this time I could whittle it down a bit at a time. I can take away three and then I can take away two and it's fine. Okay. So 1249 80. Using the box. Then I'm starting with all 4980. 
Can I do a thousand? No. So this will be my hundreds box. How many 12 times 100 can I fit in? Let's say maybe I'm guessing just one. That would be 1,200. Nope, I still have more room. So let's do another three. So 12 times three is 36. And these are hundreds. And I subtract again. And I have 180. And I can't fit 12 times 100 anymore. So I'm done with that. So let's move it to the next thing. Now I'm in the tens box. 12 times 10, is that going to fit? I can fit one. 12 times 10, that's just 12 with a zero at the end of it. Can I fit another 12 times 10? No, 120 is too big now. So I move that over. Now I'm in the ones box. I'm doing 12s one at a time, 12, 24, things like that. Again, maybe I didn't see the five. Maybe I do a three and a two. I can say I have three twelves. And then I have two more twelves. And then I'm done. So at the end, I have to add things up. I have four hundreds. I have one tens. And I have five ones. So 410 and five is 415. You are welcome to pick any of these you like best. In past classes, then the traditional way of long division and the line way tend to be people's favorite. Not too many people pick the box way, but you can if you like it. As a think to yourself, none of these work well with fractions. If I say you have six pounds of brownie and you want to cut it into two pound pieces, how many pieces do you have? How many times does two go into six? Three times. You get three pieces. Everything is great. But if I have six pounds of brownie, and after making the brownie, I am a more reasonable person, and instead of giving people two pound pieces of brownie, I give them a half pound piece of brownie. Now I'm not quite sure what to do. So something we'll have to do later in class is how to do division on paper that has fractions in it, is what we know so far doesn't help us. But that doesn't mean you can't solve this. You can just kind of think it through. If you had six pounds of brownie, how many half pound pieces would you get? I could draw a picture. 
Here's my brownie thing. All together, it's six pounds. How would I make one pound pieces? Six squares. Yeah. So if my art was good and it's not, these would each be one pound, right? So how many half pound pieces do I get? 12 squares. Yeah, I would cut each of those again and I'd have 12. So we can do this red problem. It's not really a hard problem. It's just we can't do it with long division. So we need someday to get our math on paper caught up to our brain. But that's for the future.